Hey guys, welcome back to Ben Ventures. You're back here with Ben. And I'm continuing my adventure off into Holland. Unfortunately, the weather today is kind of turned. It's a little bit rainy, but that's fine with us. Uh, so right now we're heading to a city called Harlem. And we're gonna eat at a restaurant called Frenchies, which is like a Dutch, uh, Dutch Western with a twist. Should be nice and delicious. I've got some good reviews. So I'll take you guys along with me. And if you got a second, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks guys. city So we made it to Harlem. It's a nice little city, actually. There's a lot of history to it, you can tell. And there's a free walk-in museum, I think, that we can go check out. So we're gonna go get some food first because we're starving, so. We got some food in our bellies and we're just gonna walk around and check some of the shops that they have. And I think on the way in I saw a little kind of museum that was free to walk in and check out. So I'm gonna see where that's at and see what they got going on. So it's a very cool little city, I like it. So we made our way into this church, or kirk, as they're known, and it's called Grot of St. Bavo. It is massive. Check it out, guys. Absolutely enormous. <laughs> so the floor of the Bavo Church, it consists of 
<clears throat> entirely gravestones, apparently. So there's 1,500 gravestones in its entirety, which is pretty crazy. 1,500 gravestones. here. I'm always curious where those end up, where those go. I'm just at the Taylor's Museum here and uh, I'm just going to do a bit of a uh, walk through. So they basically redid this whole museum. I'll give you the exact sort of dates as to when, uh, I think it's the oldest one in Holland, from what I'm told, but uh, I'll give you guys some details on it as we walk through, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this museum is from 1784, and it's the oldest museum in Netherlands. Very cool. Definitely suggest this. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check out. There's so much stuff. It's crazy. This room is haunted. <laughs> so this room here is closed off by a door and you need five keys to open it. And this is where all the special documents were held. Right now we're actually heading over to Amsterdam. And we've got our restaurant lined up. It's going to be delicious. It's full of cheese.
All right, so we are at the central station in Schiphol and we're heading over to Amsterdam by train. So the cost of the tickets is 95 euros for two people there and back. It seems kind of expensive, but it's pretty good. And their uh, transit system is on point here in Holland. Like it, wherever you need to go, it's taken care of for the bus, the trains. They have a very, very good system. So I'll see you guys on the train. All right, so we are on the train. So one thing to note is that they have two different like kind of classes. There's like the first class kind of thing and a second class. The first class is a little bit more expensive, but the seating looks exactly the same. You just, it's less busy, I think is the only difference. So the train that we're on right now, it has to transfer over. So we got to catch a bus. And the reason why is that there was a really huge accident that happened. So basically a train had collided with a crane uh, that went on the tracks too early. And it was a really sad situation because the, uh, the crane operated, operator had died over the incident as well. Very sad, but they're still trying to fix the track, so it's crazy. All right, we are on our second train now, heading to Amsterdam. We had to switch on a bus for a little bit there. We are on our way, probably 15 minutes away, I'd say. Half an hour? Oh, half an hour. Okay, never mind. All right, well, we made it to Amsterdam, and holy crap, it's busy. I guess it's because it's a long weekend. There's just tons of people around. Check it out, guys. Look how busy it is. Heineken uh, brewery there where you can do a tour. We may or may not do that in a little bit. Well, that restaurant was delicious, it's called Caspar. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. And that finishes off my trip in the Netherlands. So I'm off to Portugal in a couple of days and it should be awesome. And then we're going to France right after that. So look up for those videos. And yeah, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and check out some of my other videos, including part one and part two of my Netherlands trip. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.